The vision for Josiah came about when we realised that Emmanuel College was actually unable to meet the needs of some of the students who were applying and was having to turn them away. There was a strong feeling that an Emmanuel education should be available for every student, no matter what their level of need, and there the seed of Josiah College as a vision began. There's two origins to the name Josiah which came together. The first is that we had a, a board member and a long-serving friend of the school whose son um, came to Emmanuel College, gosh, a good number of years ago now, and he struggled with autism. And so, and his name was Josiah. So part of it was a sort of honouring the fact that this long-standing board member who's, who's championed the idea of a school for, uh, for those with special needs for a long time, it's honouring him. The other part of it is that we're a Christian school and Emmanuel is named after one of the names of God, which is God with us, one of the biblical names. Josiah is another godly name, if you like, and it means the God who supports and so when these two stories came together, I thought, this is, um, this is a lovely idea because Josiah College isn't there to do the work for the children or to look after the children, it's to support them and give them a springboard into the rest of their life. And I thought, what a lovely image for, for the school. So yeah, that's why we are Josiah College. We were very excited when they first said this was something they wanted to do, the school designed specifically for children with autism. Um, so our first exercise really was to go off and do a whole lot of research. There's very little sound scientific information, so we have sort of waded our way through a lot of that, found a couple of sources, one uh, primarily in Israel, interestingly, uh, in terms of taking our cues architecturally. And the other part of the exercise really has just been listening to their advice and their indications of what they see as the critical elements. It's been a great exercise, really interesting and rewarding. Environments are terribly overloading for a student with autism. Um, they will probably feel um, that it's very difficult to focus and learn in an environment like that. So whereas it will be busy and noisy and very stimulating in a manual, at Josiah it will be calmer, quieter, there'll be filters in place to just put in the environment what is necessary to learn and what makes the student feel the most secure, the least distracted and the most able to learn. So really the environment and the amount of stimulation is key. The architects from Hamilton Hayes Henderson, um, Ed and Alan in particular and the co-directors of Josiah and myself have spent a lot of time looking at research from Egypt and from America and from New Zealand and trying to work out the best way forward. It's been a very exciting, it's a really creative project. The idea is to have as natural looking building as possible. The intention was that it be like a child's fort, you know, the fort type for playground. So the whole school was an extension of that. Working with the architects and the designers has been a really exciting part of the project. Um, just to be making sure that the school that we end up is excellent in quality in every way and looking at every need that the students with autism will have. So we need to be sensitive to um, sounds and lighting and um, surfaces that we use. And so being a part of that, choosing the colours, choosing the fabrics and the um, interior design designing of it has been a, a great joy. <laughs> it's been a really um, exciting journey actually because there is a very limited research into what is best for children with autism in terms of education. There's a lot of research in what makes education difficult for children with autism but then there's not a lot that extrapolates from that to what's the solution. And in architectural terms it probably is unique for Australia because this will be the first school for children with autism designed from scratch. Josiah will be an opportunity for us to, um, I guess, be part of researching um, what works for children with autism. Because as much as we've come together with the school and um, put everything together that we think will be a great environment for learning and be a, a help, I guess, for these students, we know that we need to be part of the research for the future. And we know that what we've got is not going to necessarily be um, be perfect. And so in the future, our school will develop and as the classrooms are added on to, uh, we'll find that some aspects of the, the first model, we may alter slightly to improve. So that's why it's been lovely to think that we're not going and just building the full, full school 
straight up that we're actually able to build a pod and get a couple of classrooms going and see how it goes and just continually that the school will evolve and become better and better. Everything from the design of the building, the finish of the building, the location of the building, to the class size of eight students with two members of staff has been carefully thought about. The curriculum, what we'll study, how we'll study it, um, the adventure of learning that will go on together will look very different um, from the adventure of learning at a manual. I think schools should be diverse places with diverse kids and diverse range of people, so it's wonderful having children with autism here. And our learning support department and our teachers do an amazing job with children with autism. But I've interviewed some children to have places here where I've had to have very honest conversations with their parents about whether we can meet that child's higher needs. And we always do our best, but sometimes we know we're not quite meeting those needs as well as we could, given different circumstances. So we've got children with autism. I, I, I'm teaching one this year, helping one with her English. Not because she's not good at English. She's brilliant. But English is a very loud subject, and I'm an English teacher by training, so it's wonderful to work with, with all kids. But some just can't operate in that environment. Students who come to Josiah will be students who are probably finding mainstream education at the moment very challenging and therefore are not feeling at their most secure and settled and therefore not attaining their full potential. We hope that by putting them in a college that's been designed and thought through with their needs in mind, we can equip them with choices so that at some point perhaps they will transition into mainstream schooling. Perhaps they'll transition to TAFE or apprenticeships. Perhaps they'll transition partnered with an organisation like EPIC who work with older students with autism into a place of work. But we want to equip them ultimately with choices. These are students who over the past have not left school with choices and we want to give them that range of choice for their future life.